Hey, my name is Bhavani Kola. Welcome back to another session of Face to Face to Online Transition. Are you one of those parents or teachers who's really struggling to teach your kids math problems? Well, today we'll be talking about Microsoft Math Solver. This not only helps us solve the math problems, but it's also a blessing for our students with attention deficit, visual disabilities, and our ESL students. Yes, this translates and reads aloud all your math problems step by step in 68 different languages. I am so excited about today's session. So without a further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. This Microsoft Math Solver is absolutely free. All you have to do is type in math.microsoft.com. You can have an app downloaded in your iOS and your Android devices. You can use this as a web interface and you can also download this as a desktop. Desktop. So today I'm going to be showing you how the desktop version looks and please keep in mind the immersive reader and the language translation, the read aloud is only available on the desktop version. So here I am on my desktop version, just one click of a button, it automatically downloads it for you. And here is my math solver. As you can see, I have pre-algebra, algebra sections, trigonometry, and also calculus. So let's go ahead and type in, uh, let's go ahead and look at the pre-algebra section. Let me start with the basics, the least common multiple. And what I'm trying to show you is not the way it's solving the problems, but all the extra features and how does this stand out from the other apps that we have. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on the first example, the least common multiple of 12 and 16. And as you can see, it has evaluated for me. Students can also take a quiz. And if they have any doubts, they can actually watch all these videos that are pulled up here from various different websites. This is such a cool feature. I can practice more once I understand. But what I would like to focus is on view step-by-step -step solution. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And as you can see, I have a step by step. What if I'm an ESL student? What if I'm having uh, visual disabilities? I am going to use the immersive reader feature that is only available on your desktop version. I'm going to go ahead and click on it. This is such a blessing to all our students. I can increase the font. I can change the background if it's too bright. Right? I can change the font. Um, not the size, but the font itself. I'm gonna go ahead and keep it to the basic one. I'm gonna change it back to the light. I can increase the font here or I can decrease it. And if I have, if I wanna know the noun syllabus adjectives in math, I don't know who would want to, but you can do that as well. And here, if I wanna focus on line by line, there you go. If I'm a student that, you know what, I wanna focus it step by step. And also the best part of it is choose the language. As you can see, it had 68 different languages. And now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and let's say I speak French, French from Switzerland. I don't know they're different Frenches, but French from Switzerland, I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And I'm gonna make sure it translates the entire document. There you go. And I'm gonna ask Microsoft to read it for me. Okay, whatever that means. I'm gonna, I can change the speed of my language. I can select if I want male or female. I can do that. And let's say I decided I don't wanna have French. I'm gonna go ahead and change it to, I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and change the entire document in Hindi and play this for me. So there you go, I have it in different languages. That's a blessing for our students. And here you have mean, median mode, you have algebra components, you have inequalities. You can actually go ahead and solve anything. You have your graphs here step-by-step -step solutions. And do not forget, I am trying to focus on the immersive reader today because it helps our students to translate and also read in their own pace. That would be such a blessing for parents too. So here I am on my Android phone. I have downloaded the app already. So I'm gonna simply go ahead and click on it. As you can see, you can scan, you can draw, or you can type them in. But the cool feature is if you want your solutions to be in a different language, you simply go ahead and change the language. 
to whatever languages are available on your cell phone. Keep in mind, the cell phone has um, the app version, the mobile version has restricted languages, but the desktop version has 68 different languages. I'm just going to keep it to English. You can actually scan it. I'm just going to show you how it's done. You simply click on the camera and press. There you go, it's scanning. And voila, I do have my solution here. I have solutions in various forms, factoring by grouping, quadratic formula, completing a square, even the graph version is given to me. And the best part is students can actually go ahead and quiz and take a quiz to just to make sure they are uh, aware of the solution and they have mastered the topic. I'm going to go ahead and write down the derivative d by dx of x squared. It's going to take a minute. There you go. It has evaluated for me and also given me the graph of the derivative. And it's also telling me, hey, do you want to take a quiz? I'm just going to say no. And I'm going to delete it. And I'm going to go ahead and graph r is equal to sine 6 theta. That is in polar coordinates. It's going to take a minute and give us a graph. There you go. It has solved it for me. And also this beautiful graph of sine 6 theta and quiz as well. Students can solve from basic math problems all the way up to calculus, integrals, and derivatives. Even if you're not a math teacher and you came across this video, please don't forget to share it with other teachers, parents, and students because you never know who's going to be benefited from this amazing, amazing feature of Microsoft. I enjoy this feature. I hope you do too. If you have any questions or comments, don't hesitate to comment below and happy teaching.